Hey guys, it's Russell with DieselGiant.com and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to test your fuel pressure on your Dodge Ram diesel. Now, specifically, we're going to be working on the 2001 24 valve with the VP44 injection pump. For the guys that have the 12 valve, well, you're lucky you've got the P7100 pump. It's got a mechanical lift pump and doesn't suffer from the same anomaly that the VP44 does. Now the reason that the fuel pressure is so important, and I'm talking about the fuel pressure coming into the injection pump, not what the injection pump is putting out. Basically what this does is it takes fuel from the tank and sends it to the VP44, which is the injection pump. Some of the models have in-tank pumps, but most of them have the pump mounted on the engine itself. Now this is a Dodge added design. The problem with this design, whether it's mounted on the engine or mounted in the fuel tank itself, is that the Carter lift pumps just aren't very good. That's what came on their stock. That was the, the OEM manufacturer for the pumps. And these pumps, they can go out. When they go out, they can cause the VP44 pump, which is cooled by the fuel that's coming into it, can cause um, the rotor inside the pump to lock up. Um, especially at uh, wide open throttle when the fuel pressure a lot of times will drop below 5 psi. So it's very important that if you're going to keep your stock pump, and I'm saying the stock pump is this one either bought from Dodge, from Cummins, or aftermarket, it's the small vein style pump. You want to make sure to test your fuel pressure regularly, I would say at least every six months, because that pump can cause the destruction of the VP44 pump. Now several years ago I went ahead and got tired of replacing the stock pumps. They wouldn't last but a year or two on the truck and I put a fast replacement pump for the Dodge. It's a drop-in replacement. It's a completely different style and so far it's been on the truck four years. Now I'm going to do some pressure testing. We're going to do the the, what the pump's putting out with the truck off, what it's putting on or putting out with the truck at idle, and then I'm going to rig up a test rig and we're going to put the um, truck on a load on the road and see what the pump can do. I have a suspicion that the pump's going to be probably near what I, as far as the stock pressures that I put on it um, when I put the installed the pump. So if you guys have one of the aftermarket pumps, um, an air dog, a, a big fast system that has the the air and water separator and all that. You still need to check your fuel pressure. Those pumps are extremely robust. Um, in fact, all those aftermarket type pumps are far, far better than the, than the stock one. Why Dodge did this? I have no idea. I guess it was just to make the engine work. One of the things that I do want to mention is that you can have your pump going bad and still not have any symptoms. A lot of times the first time somebody even knows that the pump's going out is after they change the fuel filter. The fuel canister is empty. Um, they go to prime the engine and it won't prime because the fuel pump is not producing enough pressure to even draw the fuel from the tank and fill the canister up and pressurize that to the the um, injection pump. Um, that happened to me one time. I didn't know the pump was bad. I go to, to prime it and it just wouldn't do it, so I had to replace the pump. So I'm going to show you how to test the pump um, via fuel pressure, which is the indicator that we use. So stay right there and I will show you how to get the rig set up. I'll show you what I'm using and how to do it properly. Alright, so to check the uh, fuel pressure on your Dodge with the VP44 24 valve, what you want to do is you've got your fuel filter assembly here and on the back this is the port that is here to check the fuel pressure. Okay, so the, uh, the cap just comes off and what you want to do is you want to hook your fuel 
gauge, assembly, whatever you're using to check the pressure onto that right there. Now, because I can't really show you the front of it, this is basically like a Schrader valve like on your tire. Um, so they make it very easy to check your fuel pressure. Now let me just advise you that if you have low fuel pressure because you've got a probably still have the stock pump on there that's nearing its failure point then the VP44 injection pump which is under here can end up going out so on my truck what I did years ago was I took I had went through two stock fuel pumps and they only lasted about a year or two each the stock Carter ones I put a fast DDRP it goes in it's a stock replacement and there's a shot of it right there it goes in it's a different style but it's been on here four years and um, every time I check it the fuel pressure is around 14 psi which is awesome um, you don't want your fuel pressure to drop below 5 psi at wide open throttle for sure because you can damage the pump anyway I'm going to uh, show you the test kit that I use and show you how to hook it up alright I want to show you the kit that I use um, this is from Oregon Fuel Injection Inc I got this years ago and this is the pressure gauge with the hose and as you see inside here it's similar to a uh, what you'd use to fill a tire up it's not the same but this kit has tons of different fittings to check all different kind of uh, years and makes and models of um, diesel injection fuel injection so um, this is the kit that I use you don't have to use this kit you can use uh, pretty much any kit that's got the proper adapters in it okay you could even use this on a gasoline car that's got fuel injection so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end right here and I'm going to screw it onto the threaded portion of my Schrader valve and the when you do this make sure that you record your fuel pressure what you've got I've got a I've got a log book that I keep so I know like the last time I checked the fuel pressure was this because if you see that there's a a trend downward you want to really keep a good eye on the pump um, in my experience the stock pumps the stock Carter style pumps they just don't last very long so after replacing two of them uh, I decided that I was done with those okay so I've got the um, tester hooked up I just basically put it on there really hand tight uh, the reason that this is so long is because I can basically put this underneath the windshield wiper and uh, shut the hood so that I can monitor the pressure when I'm driving so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the uh, the tester over here and set the tripod up and go inside the truck and cycle the key to get the fuel pressure reading at uh, stationary and then we'll do it at idle Okay, so with the vehicle not running, I'm getting a little over 20 PSI of fuel pressure, which is awesome. And the pump's still running. Okay, it's going to drop back down like it should because it just turned off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the truck and we'll see what we have at idle.
All right, so I couldn't see what it was. I did it at different. I did it at 1,000 and held it for a little bit. Then I held it at 1,500 for just a little bit. And then I held it at 2,000 at the very end for just a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the gauge set up so that I can actually drive the vehicle and we're going to see how it responds when it's actually under a load. All right, so I ran the hose up through the uh, windshield wiper right here. It's just laying on top of it. And then I used some packing tape. I know this looks really ghetto, but for purposes of testing, it works just fine. Uh, I'm just going to be driving a couple miles. I want to show you guys what the fuel pressure does when you drive. All right, I do hope the video is going to come out. Uh, this is very hard trying to hold the camera and shoot at this angle. But we'll see. Of the problem is the way the, the sun is so all right so I'm gonna go up an incline right here know how the video is going to pick up until I get it in my editing program but the pressure is looking awesome right now all right so I'm going down a hill and I'm going to uh, basically give it full throttle up this steep hill which will simulate a really good load all right so this pump is four years old and it puts out the best pressure of any pump I've ever used on this truck um, comparing to the different stock pumps I tried a aftermarket stock pump uh, it wasn't the factory Dodge pump which probably is the same thing but the uh, fuel pressure is doing awesome These pumps are a little bit more expensive than the stock replacement Carter pumps. They bolt right in. There's no uh, difficulties with putting it in. The installation is very simple. So this pump, just from these tests, the pump is very, very healthy. Now, if I was going to give it a really, really, really good test, I would get the truck all the way up to operating temperature, which it's about 85 degrees out here right now. So we're going to be up there very, very close now. So I'm going to cut the, uh, the camera off and then turn it back on when I get the vehicle up to operating temperature. All right, so the truck's up to full operating temperature. And I want to get on this long pole. It's about a, a mile. Pretty steep grade that I can go up. And I'm going to um, see what this pump is capable of doing. All right, so I'm wide open throttle right now. Full throttle. It looks like it's barely below 15 psi. Do it again. Wide open throttle. And I do have the uh, edge box on here so it fuels a little more than it would on a stock truck. 
Um, I don't think that's going to have any bearing on this fuel test. Okay, I'm back from the test drive. I'm very, very pleased with how the pump did. This pump has been on this truck over four years, and it's putting out, I would say, within 1% of what it was when I installed it. Um, I try to test the pump annually. I write down the, the values, what it's doing at idle and what it's doing at wide open throttle. I hope, I haven't seen the video yet, I hope it's going to come out. It's very, it was very hard to shoot this with the angle that the gauge was at, shooting through the windshield and trying to drive and not run off the road and all that. So I'm hoping that the video is going to come out. I haven't even seen it yet. Uh, but anyway, doing wonderful. I was thinking, yeah, maybe the pump's getting tired of, you know, I'm used to replacing pumps every year or so, but I'm very, very pleased with this. Um, so the pump that I have on here is a DDRP. It's made by FAST. It's the drop-in replacement. It looks different, but it bolts up in the exact same place on the engine plate. Now, if you have a, a, a Dodge that's been retrofitted, all right, a lot of times when they were having problems with these, they would take the pump off of the engine, put a a plate there or actual aluminum block and then put an end tank pump. I'm sure glad I don't have the end tank pump because it requires dropping the tank really to get at it or take the bed off the truck. So very very pleased with the performance of the pump. If you guys are having problems with your lift pump and you don't want to spend you know six seven hundred dollars for one of the huge uh, under the bed pumps that you can get like from Air Dog or one of the larger fast that have the two spin on filters then check out the DDRP pump. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. I'd get another one uh, and probably will if this one ever goes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a like, subscribe, a thumbs up and stay tuned for more diesel related videos.